I'm Amy Hudock, the proud principal of Queen Anne's County High School. I want to welcome the Board of Education members, Dr. Kane, the executive team, my supervisor, Ms. Pauls, elected officials, community members, parents, and especially the class of 2020. This is our first ever virtual commencement to honor 200 90 graduating seniors this evening for completing their educational program in Queen Anne's County Public Schools. Just a reminder, seniors, make sure your tassel is on the right side of your cap. To begin our ceremony, Ms. Kylie Madwood, class president, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, Dr. Andrea Kane, Superintendent of Schools, will share her message with the graduates. Good evening, parents, family, friends, staff, and most importantly, good evening, graduates. Again this year, I can say that it has been my honor to serve as your superintendent. To say that this has been an extraordinary year would be an understatement. Do you remember when we lost sleep over trying to figure out how to fund covers for the turf field so that we could have graduation outdoors? Somehow we find a way to put issues that seemed devastating into perspective when the truly unthinkable actually happens. The class of 2020 will forever be remembered for your ability to adapt and persevere. When you left school on March 13th, no one could have predicted that you would finish your senior year at home. But you did, and you made the most of it. You completed your coursework, and you took your AP exams at home. Some of you even transformed your living rooms into club quarantine and danced with Rihanna and Michelle Obama. You are connected by your memories. You've also had opportunities to learn important lessons in some pretty unique ways. For example, you learned the importance of being resilient. Resilience is your ability to handle stress and to bounce back with positivity and with respect to others. Resilience has been called the mental muscle that everyone has. If we want our muscles to be strong, we have to use them. The odd thing about being resilient is that you have to keep overcoming adversity in order to do it. As you know, things aren't always going to be easy. So when the challenges come, believe that you can get through them because you can. You're stronger than you might think. You've also learned the importance of being courageous. One of my favorite movies is called We Bought a Zoo. One of the main characters is Matt Damon, and in a conversation with his two children, he says to them, sometimes all you need is 20 seconds of courage. Literally, 20 seconds of just embarrassing bravery, and I promise you, something great will come of it. Whenever I'm anxious about something or whenever I need an extra boost of confidence, I remind myself that I can do just about anything for 20 seconds. Once that thing is over, I'm proud of myself. So I know firsthand that it really does work. Be courageous. Finally, I hope that you've learned to show grace to others. Especially in times like this, you never know what people are going through. Demonstrations of kindness and a gentle approach breed gratitude. You'll come out on the winning end every time. So class of 2020, on behalf of my executive team, the school board, and the entire Queen Anne's County Public Schools family, I congratulate you on earning your high school diploma. Whatever path you decide to take after today, I hope that it's personally fulfilling, that it makes your family proud, 
and that it brings value to others. I'll leave you with a quote from one of my favorite musicians, Drake. When writing the story of your life, don't let anyone else hold the pen. Congratulations, class of 2020. Well done. We will now hear from our salutatorian, Abby Todd, our two valedictorians, Nick Beers and Sarah Boyer, and class president, Kylie Magwood. Hello, class of 2020. First, I just wanted to thank everyone that has helped us to get to this point. All of our teachers, parents, counselors, administration, and the rest of the QA staff and community who have been there for us, especially during these last couple of months. I especially want to thank my parents who have been there for me the whole time and supported me. Now, I know that for some people today is going to be a day of disappointment and frustration over all of the things that we have missed out on and all the things that we thought today was going to be. And it definitely is not how we expected to end our time here. But I think that thinking negatively about everything that went wrong the last couple of months, and even with high school, is not how we should be experiencing graduation. Everything we do in high school, or would have done, should be small in comparison to all the major events we have in our upcoming lives. Now, for me, the excitement of today and anticipation to be graduating has never gone away. We are finally done with high school, and I'm just excited and ready to start the next part of my life, and today is about being excited for your future and everything that you want to accomplish. I truly feel like everything that we have gone through over the past couple of months and all the events that we did not get to experience will make the next part of our lives that much more exciting and genuine. And I hope that we can bring the same anticipation and excitement into the next chapter of our lives. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. And now I'd like to present one of our valedictorians, Nick Beers. Before I truly begin, I would like to thank my mom and my dad for always supporting me. And I would also like to thank my friends Zach Wagman and Parker Roscovich for being there for me long before this high school journey began. Now I know that this is not what we had in mind for graduation, but I don't think any of these circumstances were either. But at the end of the day, we still have the caps, we still have the gowns, we still have the pride that comes with graduating, and most importantly, we still have our loved ones supporting us. We may not all be physically together in this moment, but I'm sure you've heard everyone say how these times have brought us together nonetheless. And whether you're one of my fellow CES alumni, which I've known for over 10 years, or you're a newer face, we've gone through this together. We, the class of 2020, will be remembered for many great things. We will be remembered for our strong performance academically, as well as the many great students and great people that are in our class. Now we find ourselves moving on to the next stages of our life, whether that be the workforce, college, the military, or whatever else life brings us. We, the class of 2020, will go on to succeed and will overcome many obstacles that come in our way. Our current time of crisis may be hindering us now, but it cannot stop us forever. I may not have all the answers for the problems in the future, but I do know that 20 is greater than 19 and that the class of 2020 will overcome COVID-19 and we will do it together. And now I would like to introduce my friend and fellow co-valedictorian, Sarah Boyer. Welcome the Queen Anne's County graduating class of 2020. We did it, we seriously made it. We have been through so much over these past four years. Stabbing at a football game, the transition from backpacks to lockers, and now a worldwide pandemic and the infamous murder hornets. No one saw this coming. No one could have anticipated this in their wildest dreams. This is definitely not how we wanted our senior year to end. Everything we've come to expect and consider normal over these past four years was gone in the blink of an eye. But rather than focus on what has been taken away, we can choose to focus on how this pandemic has brought us closer together. This is an opportunity for the class of 2020 to forge a bond unlike any other because we are the quarantine class or the best senior skip day ever class. No matter where we go from here or what the future holds, we will always share this experience together. I won't claim to know each and every one of you personally because I don't. But that does not make us strangers. Maybe we sat next to each other sophomore year in Ms. Hansen's English 2 class. Maybe we passed each other in the hallway and never said hi. But in the end, one way or another, our paths have crossed. This school holds a special place in each and every one of our hearts, 
And as we move forward in life, this school connects us to one another in any way, shape, or form. Life is trial and error. There are no mistakes, only lessons. The real world will change us in ways we will never expect it, but don't fight it. Failure is not permanent. We must learn to rise above it and choose to be better than we were a moment ago. We have been through so much over these past four years. Let these new changes away from Queen Anne's County High School help us grow. Be proud of our accomplishments, let them push us forward, and be what makes this world a better place. Thank you and congratulations to the quarantine class of 2020. I would like to introduce our class president, Kylie Magwood. This isn't how I pictured it would be when I finally gave this speech as 2020 class president, but in times when you can't really choose your situation, you have to work with what you've been given. Allow me to start from the very beginning, kindergarten. This was the place that started it all. Many of us either went to Church Hill, Sudlersville, Centerville, or some other elementary school if you weren't born in this area. The first day of kindergarten came, and I'm sure most of us thought school would just be about snacks, napping, story times, recess, and we thought to ourselves, it can't get any better than that. There was no drama, no stress, no judgment, and most importantly, no homework. The main thing that occurred this year, though, is the close bonds that we formed with one another. We began to grow and so did our workload in school, and we got accustomed to teachers saying to us that they're not going to hold our hands when we go to middle school. It seemed so far away at the time, but it finally came quicker than we would have imagined. We started middle school, and we were now going to be the newbies once again. These were the years that tested us both socially and mentally. And if that wasn't enough, we were learning that everything we did from this point on was going to be detrimental to our success in the future. They see everything is what every single teacher always told us. Countless adults always stress the importance of staying on top of your schoolwork if you want to be successful in life. The beginning of high school was tough, but we got through it. The end of junior year was also full of stress, though, but that came with being a junior class officer and having things like prom to plan. But the fact that I had the most amazing fellow class officers like Benton Greenwood, Shannon Billups, Savannah Smith, and other advisors such as Don Corsi and Marlo Coppage, it all made it worthwhile because we weren't just fellow officers. We became a family and I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to work with. We all have our individual stories though. Yours may be different than mine, but one thing I want to be taken from this speech is that no matter what you have faced during the past few years, it does not define your future. You define yourselves, and we all have worked very hard and stayed up many late nights in tears to finally get to this point. Because our senior year was cut short because of coronavirus, I would like to leave each and every one of you with this. Your accomplishments throughout the past 13 years are not going unnoticed simply because we cannot have everything a senior year is supposed to be about, like a big graduation or a prom, to have a last dance with our fellow classmates. Know that this experience will only make you stronger and be proud of the fact that even though we had our senior year interrupted and everything put online, we still managed to get our work done and get our diplomas. One last thing I'd like to say is set your heart on a goal and work hard to achieve it because they're not gonna hold your hand when you get out into the real world. Thanks so much for an incredible 13 years and I'll see you guys at the reunion. And now Ms. Hudak will share her message. I arrived at Queen Anne's County High School in the spring of 2017, your ninth grade year. And during that graduation speech, my message focused on always moving forward despite changes or challenges in life because that class had experienced a few bumps along the way and I wanted to acknowledge those bumps. And not to minimize what they went through, but nothing compares to what the class of 2020 has gone through and is still experiencing. Your last semester of your senior year was nothing like you thought it would be or what I thought it would be. And I wonder, will things ever be the same again? When life-changing events occur, we adjust and the new way of doing things becomes our norm and we move forward. Now when we leave our house, we look for our keys and our mask. But what has this pandemic taught us? It's taught us a lot. For me, not taking things for granted tops the list. 
being able to see extended family and friends, having face-to-face -face conversations, going out to eat at restaurants, shopping for clothes at a store, shaking someone's hand, giving a hug, and the list goes on. We live or lived in a hustle bustle kind of world. We were burning the candle at both ends. Everyone had a full plate or whatever cliche you choose to describe it. And then the rug was pulled out from under us. Everything came to a halt. This past winter, I was sitting in a restaurant in Annapolis and I looked around. Absolutely everyone was on their phone. No one was having a conversation. And I thought about that observation and where we were or still are with technology. During the quarantine, we needed it more than ever to connect us with colleagues, classmates, family, friends, and I'm grateful for that. But when everything shifts back to the normal or the new normal, don't forget all the things we missed while being isolated. Keep them close. Put down your phones and talk. Have a conversation. Enjoy the company of your family and friends when they are with you. Learn from this experience. I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. As Marilyn Monroe said, things go wrong so you can appreciate them when they're right. So move forward, class of 2020. Don't look back and never take anything for granted. We are all very proud of you. Congratulations and best wishes. Now, Ms. Kelly Moore will join me in presenting the graduating class of 2020. Courtney Nicole Adams. Elijah Reeves Adams. Dylan Abel Addis. Tyler William Addis. Rahelio Bernabe Aguilar Castano. Veronica Cerquera Onteo. Jessica Brianna Anthony. Margaret Christine Apple. Morgan Victoria Armstrong. Amber Nicole Bailey. Marlene Lucia Baltazar Aguilar. Sophia Grace Barrasso. Brendan Patrick Bateman. Rosalio Romaldo Bautista Mejia. Nicholas Andrew Felice. Ethan Josiah Bello. Carly Lynn Beers. Nicholas 
Matthew Beers. Philip Blake Beville. Shannon Michelle Billups. Austin Michael Black. Abigail Grace Blanchard. Noah Whitney Bachmiller. Robert Harrison Bayshore. Madeline Marie Bone. Bryce Andrew Boone. Gage Alexander Bowen. Sarah Cynthia Boyer. Logan Darlene Bozarth. Luke Charles Brazerall. Mia Elizabeth Q. Brazerall. Amy Catherine Brookshire. Kara Sutton Brown. Jameer Deshaun Brown. Zachary Dallas Brown. Eric Robert Buckholtz. Riley Louise Burke. Ikea Sine Burks. Hector Antonio Canales Renatos Jr. Allison Eileen Candela. Brianna Nicole Cannon. Lindsay Catherine Carr. Sydney Alexandra Carroll. Hannah Rosemary Chalkley. Kira Jade Shannad.
Hunter, Nelson, Charles. Jocelyn Sage Clark. Michael Abraham Clay. Jessica Dawn Plow. Shane Wesley Clow. Garrett Allen Cole. Garrett Andrew Collins. Autumn Ray Conley. Sydney Marie Cook. Hunter Michael Cooksey. Caitlin Brooke Cooper. Philip David Cooper. Tyshawn Amir Copes. Anaya Lakia Corker. Anthony Joel Corona. Luigi Antonio Costayola. Declan Murphy Covington. William Kingsley Covington. Bethany Lauren Crawford. Ryan Share Cummings. Jonathan Hunter Cunningham. Seth Xavier Darpino. Justin Edward DeShiel. Benjamin Jacob Davenport. Norman Lee Dixon III. Harley Ray Dodson. Kyle Anthony Darty. Hayden Elliot Dowdle. Austin Joseph Doyle.
Ruby Michelle Doyle. Jordan Lorenzo Dozier. Clayton Warren Draper. Hannah Dustin Eastman. Jacob Wayne Elborn. Danielle Elma May Elburn. Alondra Kirakel Elizondo Iribe. Lewis Michael Endrich Jr. Alexander Case Evans. Piper Olivia Evans. Patrick Charles Fitzmorris. Bridget Kathleen Ballum. Haley May Funk. Edward Matthew Galvin. James Austin Garner. Julian Thomas Garrett. Anna Rose Gavigan. Cody Ty Geller. Vincent Francis Garrier the Fifth. Michael Alexander Jervis. Jaimir DeQuinn Gibson. Kelly Renee Gibson. Dominic Joseph Gilberto. Melissa Michelle Gill. Olivia Elise Giuliano. Emma Grace Golden. Ivan Alexievich Gontrark. Carla Stephanie Gonzalez Canales. Jennifer Lisbeth 
Gonzales Canales. Matthew Jacob Goodman. Benton Samuel Greenwood. Olivia Louise Greer. Dylan James Gray. Nicholas Allen Grimes. Tavion Wayne Gross. Mitchell Clay Gunther. Shelby Lynn Gustafson. Bradley Thomas Hall. Preston Allen Hall. Aman Karen Hawk. Jenna Ruth Hauser. Mackenzie Reed Hemingway. Luis Reyes Hernandez Gonzalez. Thomas Christopher Hershey. John Vincent Esplana Hickey. Destiny Faith Hoffman. Christopher Bryce Coon. Julia Ann Jackson. Gavin Michael Jens. India Marie Johnson. Joshua Paul Harrison Jones. Lillian May Jones. Xavier Wallace Winfield Jones. Zachary Allen Jones. Yonatan and Dolfo Juan Juan. Audrey Lynn Carbomb. Lindsay Marie Kemp.
Zachary Michael Kite. Aaron Nicole King. Taylor James King. Hunter James Kinneman. Daniel Edward Knotts. Delilah Moon Colanda. Paige Olivia Lancaster. Turner Scott Lancaster. Zoe Eliza Langdon Kennedy. Kayla Ray Larimore. William Seth Latham. Keandre Thomas Leeger. Allison Joe Lemons. Emily Joe Lemons. Claudia Grace Lashinsky. Christina Ann Lewis. Kobe Allen Lewis. Guadalupe Yamas Padilla. Kaylee Marie Lockwood. Madison Lynn Loker. Jose Roman Lopez Gonzalez, Jr. Lourdes Elizabeth Lucio. Gavin Rain Luongo. Kylie Ty Magwood. Justine Michelle Mijak. Megan Alexis Mijak. Samantha John Mendez. Matthew Ryan Mariano. Yvette Martinez Ayala.
Jordan Michelle Mall. Abigail Rose May. Caroline Elaine McAndrews. Kennedy Blake McClay. Timothy David McConaughey. Delaney Elizabeth McCreary. Grace Margaret McCreary. Richard Donald McGinn IV. Maya Isabel McGrory. Marcus Darren McRae. Taylor Ann Mellinger. Zoe Dawn Malati. Emily Caroline Milko. Anastasia Desiree Miller. Shaheem Nashawn Miller. Leslie Elise Moore. Wyatt James Moore. Julia May Moran. Camden Riley Morris. Christopher Cade Mullins. Joshua Lynn Mussetter. Krista Lauren Neal. Hope Marie Nealis. Mackenzie Teal Nelson. Emily Marguerite Ocampo. Beecher Cole Ocus. Nash Russell Palmer. Tyler Christopher Pellucci. Colin Michael Parsons.
John Walter Raskowski III. Charles Robert Patterson V. Andrew Doyle Peck. Emerson Javier Perez Garcia. Abraham Gabriele Perez Padilla. Jenny Alexandra Perez. Caitlin May Pfeiffer. Robert Merle Pfeiffer III. Chance Austin Porter. Lauren Francis Portillo. Stephanie Ramirez Hernandez. Caitlin Leanne Ray. Eliza Ann Randolik. Brandon William Rice. Alexander Paul Richards. Tad Edward Ringel. Michaela Ann Rivers. Caitlin Ann Robinson. Ariana Detrice Rochester. Amber April Rodriguez Salazar. Hayden Jesse Rowe. Parker Bowen Roscovich. Aaron Matthew Ruff. Jacob Nicholas Russ. Deborah Ann Russell. Race Aaron Salisbury. Sarah Taylor Savage. Sierra Elizabeth Sheeler. Donald Willard Sego the third.
Tyler Zane Seidel. Johanna Marie Sesse. Cheyenne Marie Seymour. Isaiah Jeremiah Shackelford. Robert Xavier Seitz. Sophia Lily Smallwood Corcoran. Eric Stephen Smith. Jacob Allen Smith. Julia Elizabeth Smith. Savannah Nicole Smith. Megan Marie Smithmeyer. Casey Lynn Snowberger. Alyssa Marie Sofanowski. Nicole Marie Soden. Caden Jeffrey Allen Stabler. Jack Robert Stevens. Diani Renee Stewart. Dylan Thomas Stringer. Catherine Elizabeth Sullivan. Lewis Matthew Sullivan, Jr. Grace Marie Sutherland. Mary Lee Schwartz. Madison Michelle Sweeney. Cassandra Michelle Schweitzer. Amber Marie Thomas. Madeline Casey Tischer. Abigail Joe Todd. Kate Addison Tolson. Aaron Elizabeth Tomasoni.
Elizabeth Caitlin Torres. Samantha Ann Tracy. Alec Christopher Travers. Seth Michael Tribbett. Morgan Alyssa Tripp. James Omer Truitt. Carson Edward Tucker. Kylie Marie Tulewitzki. Devrin Giovanni Turner Jr. Juwan Malik Turner. Ross Edward Turner. Alexandra Denise Unger. Hunter Danielle Barrett. Matthew John Wagonfer Jr. Zachary Charles Wagaman. Nicole Christine Walzak. Matthew Coleman Walls. Taylor Allison Walls. Kimberly Danielle Ward. Timothy Dane Weeble. Kaya Lee Weimer. Jacob Robert Westfall. Robert Brady Whaley. Madison Kennedy Wheeler. Andrew James Whittakin. Cameron Chase Wilmer Johnson. Alex McKillop Wilson. Sadea Lene Wilson. Cody Edward Wiltbank.
Cameron Ann Wingate. Connor Ray Wingate. Jordan William Wood. Maxwell Judson Wood. Claire Marie Workinger. Alan Jenning Young. Brooke Deanne Yeager. Michael Christopher Zonier. Alexander David Zuella. And now a few words from our Board of Education President, Mrs. Tammy Harper, to the class of 2020. As the President of the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County, I hereby certify that your diplomas represent the completion of all graduation requirements set forth by the State of Maryland and Queen Anne's County Public Schools and declare you graduates of the Queen Anne's County High School. Congratulations and may God bless you all. There is one final task remaining for our graduates, the turning of their tassel. It is the tradition that following the pronouncement of being officially graduated, the tassel on your cap is moved from the right side to the left side, signifying the passage from being a senior to being an alumni. At this time, class of 2020, please move your tassel. Thank you everyone for watching our first ever virtual commencement. We hope you've enjoyed it. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Have a great evening.